welcome to my channel. If you're just tuning in for the first time, my name is Deborah, and I'm the owner of the Gypsy Candle. Conscious, as well as um, using renewable or reusable uh, materials so that um, I can edit this out later. <laughs> and today on the video from start to finish, the concrete vessel for a large order, someone ordered 12 hand poured concrete or cement candles, um, all custom made. So I'm going to make one with you today on this video. You'll see I have two types of molds here. I have the one that is my favorite from Modern Craft Labs. This one, I also bought the lid mold to go with it because it is um, perfectly fit for the Modern Craft Lab mold. Um, and I absolutely love it. I will show you a picture of it inside this video. This one is another one that I, I sometimes like to use. It is also a pretty good mold, but it's, as you can see, it's kind of flimsy compared to this thick, nice mold from Modern Craft Labs. This one I purchased off of Amazon. I did order a couple of these because they're actually for resin and not for um, cement. So I knew that um, it wouldn't last long, but it has held up pretty nicely for it. It kind of bowls over. That's why I like to have a rubber band and something sturdy to pour it when I'm pouring because then it is nice and flat. And when they're demolded, they fit nicely together. So let's get started. I've got a couple different cups because I'm going to be making marbling a few different colors and whatnot. So I've got some solo cups, my molds. I also have the brace thing that you put on the mold after you pour with the modern craft lab and some gloves and a mask. Well, let's get started. And I use bottled water as well as a special color for concrete. Today we'll be doing some we'll be doing some black we'll be doing some green and we'll be doing some blue my black i purchased from buddy roads if you're looking for a good black pigment to use for your cement trust me this one the carbon black from buddy roads is the best so let's get started with the integrity of the vessel. Also, I'm using cement all. This is the cement all. Okay. So I think what we what color we will make because I am out currently of my red vessels. So I also, when I'm making, um, trying to get a white color, I will use about a tablespoon of titanium dioxide um, for the vessel. But right now for this video purpose, we don't need any titanium dioxide because we're making the red. And I'm not going to marble this one. Well, maybe, I don't know. No, I'm just gonna do all red. So what I like to do first is I like to put my color into the Solo Cup and I mix that with water.
sticky, it's really not much. So I'll pour the, the measurement for the concrete though is four to one. So I don't know if you can see this. So I'm gonna use about this, this much water, which comes roughly to the little above this second ridge. Once you start making a couple of these, you'll know, you'll kind of get a feel for the amount of concrete and coloring. Plus you're going to test your candles and your vessels. You can see the air bubbles already starting to form. So you kind of need to work a little bit quickly. You don't want to add too much more, but you can always have something ready to pour. If you come, if you find yourself having some extra mixture left over, like I, will make a coaster. I like to give my customers a coaster that's kind of matching. Dabble a little in. Give it maybe, maybe one swirl, maybe two. So it looks kind of like that. So now we're ready to pour.
while that one is waiting to become solid and the lid, I have started with this mold. For this one, I just am doing white. I do the same process. I mix the earth pig. I use the same technique that I do with the Modern Craft Lab, but as you can see, this one fills up rather quickly. So you don't need, I guess, in my mind anyway, you don't need as much, but you do need a lot for this lid. just need it a little bit more because I do like to have it full but again like I said I don't like to do a lot of sanding especially to these because they are a different kind of shape. YouTube world it's only been a couple seconds but in my time it's been about two hours so this is my favorite part about making the concrete vessels other than doing the swirls and stuff it is demolding so as you can see with the modern craft lab mold it's hard the same the same with the lid it's hard and it is no longer warm to the touch that is when you know it is okay to take it out of the mold with the mold that I purchased from Amazon the same thing it is no longer warm to the touch it's hard when I rub on it or whatever you don't see any mushies um, and then after this step I'm gonna show you what I do next 
Let's start with the lid. It's kind of hard to take it off with the gloves, not kind of. So, yeah. So, as you can see, I took this off. Well, that doesn't go on the lid, but I just kind of pinch it gently around the edges. And then your lid should pop right out. And normally I would not line it with the white, but I just wanted to be different and see what it turned out like. So I, it's different. I, I like it. And this is what I was talking about with the air bubbles in the edges. That's why I was stretching it out and banging it on the table because I didn't really want this, but it's okay for the lid. I like it. I like it. So demolding the Modern Craft Lab, I do the same thing. I pinch around the edges, well, with my thumb, just to get the top loosened up a bit and I did just purchase another one from Modern Craft Labs it is the four inch and once I receive that I will make a video using that mold these I've had some people say they they struggle trying to get the um, vessel out of the mold but I it's yeah, it does take a little work, but I like to flip it all the way over so you can kind of have somewhere to grip it. And no, don't worry, the pigment does not stain. That's why I love the more expensive, more quality um, molds from Modern Craft Labs because they don't stain. So once you get to this point, you're gonna wanna grab it with one hand and kind of pull on each side until you hear kind of like a pop sound. That's how you know the seal is broken. And there it is. Oh, so as you can see, I didn't use any white paint for this one and don't worry about the edges. I'm going to sand these so they're nice and smooth. And then you have a beautiful lid that matches your vessel. That is beautiful. I like that. If there is a little bit of white, see, it's very muted. Okay. And now we have our Amazon. I'm going to start with the lid. It's no longer warm. This one's a lot easier to remove because it's so cheap and flimsy, but it still produces a good. And I chose to do the all white. I like it. I like the clean look. And then with this mold, I'm kind of just peeling it away because you don't want to pinch it because it's very thin and you don't want to um, break off some of the concrete or cement. And I just pull it back like so. I do like to do the same thing. I go around the edges just so it's not, you're not tugging and doing all that extra work. Woo! Jesus. <laughs> Ooh. There you go. And then you can see the lid, after I do some sanding, actually, no, it fits. The lid fits on there. The lid takes a lot of cement to mix, so I, I don't always fill it up. It still fits, even if you do it halfway. And it never really fits like you have to hold on to it, but it is very pretty. It makes for a beautiful candle. And that is using the Earth Safe finishes the white pigment in the liquid. 
And then what I will do after I sand the bottom and the lid bottom, I'm going to water bathe these and put them, let them soak in the water for 24 hours and then tested them. And I just, I just like water bathing them. I like the effect. And then after that, I seal them, which I think you've seen my other video on how to seal or what I use to seal my concrete vessels. So like I'm not crazy about the lid, but it's different. Okay, I decided to add a little bit to this video just to show you how I water bathe these vessels. So uh, you see I start out with one, two of these one quart little things I picked up from like Home Depot. What I like to do is I add a little